Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Taro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. This Pick a Card reading is a subscriber's request. They wanted to know where their future spouse is from. So in this reading, I will give you all the details that are shown in the cards about the identity of your future spouse and where he or she may be from. I am using two different decks, Universal Rider Weight and this brand new Gaia deck I just received in the mail today. As always, I will shuffle the cards and pull three cards from each deck, six cards for three different piles. Uno más. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres. This is pile one. This is pile two. And this is pile three. If you chose pile one, here is your reading. We have six of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups, beautiful, six of pentacles, the star. and the chariot. So with pile one, it is a possibility that your future spouse is from a different country. We have all this water, so your future spouse is definitely someone you're spiritually connected to. Could be a soulmate, could be a twin flame. You could possibly meet online. But I feel like this is going to be a matter of love at first sight. I feel like when you meet your future spouse, you're both going to feel it. It's going to be bright and intense. And you could come from very different backgrounds. This person could be a different ethnicity. They could come from a different culture, speak a different language. Um, So it's going to be exciting when you meet this person, when you fall in love, because your lives have been so different. What you have in common is the soul bond. You know, spirit um, disregards ethnicity and 
culture and all that. This could be a matter of a conservative Christian in America meeting someone from India who's a Hindu or a Buddhist or any number of scenarios. But I feel like there will be a very strong physical and mental attraction. You're going to love the way this person's mind works. It's really optimal how we have the Six of Cups on top and the Six of Pentacles on bottom. You could have really good Venus aspects in your natal charts. Maybe you both have Venus and Aquarius. That's one possibility. That you both value aesthetic beauty, harmony, peace, tranquility. You and your future spouse are not into drama or games. You're into clear communication and just creating this beautiful home filled with good art and good furniture. A place where you can entertain your family and friends. There will be prosperity. There will be abundance. Um, your future husband or wife could be a few years younger than you. They could embody the energy of the Knight of Cups. They could be very passionate, a um, bit diplomatic, very careful how they present themselves in public very careful how they treat other people, um, very intuitive, charismatic. They could have numerous creative gifts. They could be a brilliant artist, musician, writer, actor, probably better looking than average. Gorgeous eyes, a beautiful, melodious voice. And I'm just seeing that you and your future spouse are going to have a gorgeous marriage. You're going to travel. You're going to have a good home. You could have two, three, four children. But I feel like this is going to be a very quick courtship. You meet, you fall in love, you get engaged within months, you get married within months. This is not going to be a long, drawn out time of dating, um, a long engagement where it takes years before you marry this person. No, you're going to fall in love and get married. I'm seeing within months of meeting this person. So that's what I have for pile one. And if you chose pile two, we have five of cups, eight of cups, seven of cups, nine of cups, Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups again. Interesting. So I feel like your future spouse has been married at least once before. It could be that you meet this person right after their divorce is finalized. The marriage they had before they met you was probably status quo. It probably wasn't a spiritual connection. So they're going to be ecstatic when they meet you because perhaps for the first time in their life, they're finding out what it's like to have a soul connection with someone, soulmates or twin flames. Um, before you, it took this person some time to process their feelings of grief and loss because of this relationship that they were in. 
With you, they find wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups. With Pile 2, I'm not really seeing that this person comes from a different culture or country. It's a possibility, but I'm seeing that this is someone who either lives in the same city as you or they live just a couple of hours away. But they are definitely in your vicinity. I feel like you come from similar backgrounds. You may have had a similar upbringing. You may have been brought up in a similar religion. But you and your future spouse are both fiercely independent. You don't necessarily live your lives the way you were raised to live your lives. Maybe you departed from the religion you were taught as a child. But you found your own way. You and your person have found your own way in the world. You found your own truths. I see you both as seekers with the Eight of Cups coming up twice. You and your future spouse have both fought hard to forge your identity in the world and to follow the path that most satisfies you. Um, you're not about the comfort zone. You're not about taking the easy road and just doing what is formulaic. They may have had that experience in their first marriage where it was formulaic. They just married someone who was a natural choice, but it wasn't really a so connection. Um, could be when you meet this person, you've gone through a long, dark night of the soul. You could have had your own divorce. This could be a second marriage or a third marriage for both of you, perhaps. But I see a strong... Neptune connection here. Your future spouse could have his or her Neptune conjunct your moon. Or you could both have some Pisces placements in common. Um, I feel like this person has a quote-unquote good job. Doctor, lawyer, um, they've definitely experienced prosperity and abundance. But they aren't typical. They aren't typical status quo because it wasn't just about the money for them. It was a calling. Their career has been spiritually more than materially motivated. Could be a little bit older than you. Could be a little bit more experienced. Um, this could be your first marriage, but I feel like definitely with Pile 2, this is your person's second or third marriage. So you could be a step-parent. They could have children from their previous marriage. You may possibly have a child together, but no more than one is what I'm picking up. Um, I'm seeing a very active lifestyle. I'm seeing a boat. I'm seeing lots of trips. Um, this is random that I'm seeing you and this person at the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And it's very romantic. It could be where they propose marriage. Hey guy, let me finish up here. I'm just doing this reading. But unlike pile one, I don't think this is going to be a quick engagement. I think this is going to be drawn out. It could take a couple of years before you actually get married to this person. So it'll be worth the wait because I think you're both going to find the nine of cups in each other. You're going to find complete wish fulfillment in this relationship. So that's pile two. And if you chose Pile 3, we have Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, 
Four of Wands, beautiful. Seven of Wands. Ten of Cups, my favorite. Seven of Cups. All of these piles have been similar. This will definitely be a soulmate or a twin flame. You'll definitely have a spiritual connection. And you will have happily ever after. You'll have domestic bliss. Could be your second or third marriage. But this will be your final marriage. This is going to be someone you spend the rest of your life with. Um, you could have children together. Or you could have a blended family. Where you have children from previous relationships. But I just see bliss. It could be rough starting out. It could be a multiple party situation. It could be that when you meet your future spouse, you're both married to other people. But you're going to find fulfillment in each other that you did not find in previous relationships. This is not karmic. This is not toxic. This is high level soulmate or twin flame. And for there to be two nines here, nine is Mars, Aries. You could meet an Aries season. Maybe not this Aries season, but maybe next year. I don't know. But I feel like you'll meet this person in the spring. And... As far as where this person is from, I feel like similar to Pile 2, this is someone that comes from your culture, from your background. I don't see this person as coming from a different country. I don't see you meeting online. I see you meeting at church or at some family function, out in public with friends. I feel like you and this person are similar in many ways. I feel like you come from a similar background. Um, this person could have a physically demanding job. Could work in construction. Could be a pro athlete, basketball player, football player. Um... I see this person, and I'm seeing a man. The man has a rugged physique. Really strong, really athletic. If you're interested in who your future wife will be, um, I see a scrappy woman, a woman who might have had a lot of brothers, Growing up, she had to compete for attention, and so she has a very sassy, tough, resilient personality. But regardless, man or woman, I see this person as being an extrovert. They have zero trouble expressing their opinions, thoughts, beliefs, feelings. Um, this person probably draws you out of your shell if you are an introvert. This person is an extrovert to your introvert. They have really high energy. Um, and if you struggle with social anxiety, if you struggle with just being out in public, in general, this person helps you with that. This person has incredible confidence. And what else? Um... Four is the marriage card, and it has been perceived as a twin flame card. 11-11, the four staves, the four wands. So, I feel like before you meet this person, you will have done a lot of really intense law of attraction work. You basically dream this person up. You visualize this person, and he or she manifest. Finally, 
They are the embodiment of all the traits you wanted to find in an optimal life partner. So beautiful. Congratulations, pile number three. When it happens, you'll be so glad and you'll know that it was absolutely worth the wait. So that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, sending you massive love and light from San Antonio.